So I had a good question through my Instagram from Simon asking about hybrids and can you hit a stinger? And could I do a video on it? Yes, you can hit stinger. And yes, I can do a video on it. Let's go. Hi guys, thanks for checking the video out. Steve Bozza here. So the hybrid, and I get, I've just been asked, can you hit a stinger? Um, the other question I get a lot is like, if I play a Lynx course or I play a course that has wind most of the time, should I use a long iron instead of a hybrid? And I actually think the hybrid works just as well in the wind as it does if you're playing still conditions, but you need to understand why. So if we talk about the classical stinger, so if you think about like when Tiger used to hit those boring two irons, um, he's hitting down on a lot and the ball's coming out really, really low. But with an iron, it, you have to force it down there. So if people don't have the speed of like a Tiger Woods, um, you'll see um, Gary Woodland hits it a lot at the minute. Um, if you don't have their speed, you set the ball low but the ball then loses all of its carry. So although it can sometimes look cool when it sets off, it doesn't really perform. The nice thing with the hybrid is if you make a slower swing, the ball is still gonna launch. So when I'm playing a stinger with a hybrid, I'm not trying to hit it anywhere near as low as you would with the iron. And you might go, well, that's not a stinger. But again, it's all relative to what the club usually does because you can make a smoother, slower swing, that drops the spin rate, but the club wanting to already go high and launch it will mean it will launch a tad lower and you'll be able to control it actually quite easily. So we're not trying to bully it down. And I think that's the, if you don't take anything else from this video, is we're not having to force this down. We pick a window that is lower than its norm, but not as low as the Tiger Stinger. Does that make sense? So let's have a go. Here we go. This is my normal one. You stay fully committed. You know, I really like that flight. So let's say I was into the wind. I might grip down a fraction, but first things first, I'm just gonna see if I can make like a smoother swing. gone lower it hasn't carried quite as far you know I haven't got much wind here today but the spin has dropped I love that flight you're gonna control that flight great um, things to watch out for um, if we go slower that doesn't mean stop turning your body you know I'm just kind of smoothing out the rate in which I'm turning I'm certainly not removing it because if you remove it how do we deliver the club the hands have to flip and you hit that low left one, which you've probably seen people hit when they're trying to hit it lower. The other one is because I might be a little bit slower, I will actually open the face a little bit at address to allow for that. So you might think, well, hang on, that would make it go higher, but it allows you just to commit to the shot on the way through, get that low flight, but you'll do it in a controllable, predictable, consistent manner add some more words if you want good shots is what I'm basically trying to say so I hope that's helped um, are you somebody that carries hybrids and then maybe when you go to a Lynx course you take them out you know you actually put your long irons back in you know I'd love to hear what you've got to say if you have any other questions coaching wise get them in the comments down below always happy to help